Welcome to my introduction to Scribus. In this introduction I plan to introduce you to the interface and to help you set some sensible defaults. When you first open Scribus it looks something like this. The default unit uh, of measurement is points. For most people millimeters would be uh, a more sensible setting. Points are the actual measurements used internally by the program to set distances um, and you're probably familiar with them from things like image resolution 72 points per inch or 150 points per inch. For now though I'm going to use millimeters. I have the page set at A4. Margin guides at around 14 mil, that's fine for me. And I'll be using a single page. Be aware that these extra settings here aren't quite what they'd seem if you're used to using something like Microsoft Publisher. Threefold layout, for instance, would set me up three panels that I could then send off to a printer for him to use in making a threefold brochure. It isn't for printing three panels on one side of A4 in a desktop printer. To do that, we would use a single page and set appropriate guides, and I will cover that in a future lesson. So for now, single page, A4, around 14 mil margins, and millimeter as my settings. Okay. Also, when I'm using a page, I like to, to see the guides, so I'm going to turn those on. View uh, grid. And you'll see on this grid, it, it, uh, uh, it helps me to lay out the page, but it isn't quite even. On this side, I have five full boxes in my first major grid on this side I have almost five I'm going to correct that when we go in now and set the preferences so let's do that file preferences I'm going to set preferences such that next time I open a document I can just use defaults so uh, this general tab is fine on document I want A4 millimeters um, single page 14 mil margins that's great guides I want to set the grid to show automatically and I'm just going to alter these figures very slightly I want exactly 30 mil as my spacing for major grids and that's because an A4 page is 210 millimeters wide 210 divided by 30 is exactly seven major boxes and I need to make the minor grids match that so exactly six mil, five six mil boxes will fit perfectly inside the thirty mil major grid. Okay, only one more setting, and that's PDF export. On the color tab, I want to change the output. It's not for the screen; mine will be for print. And I want to convert spot colors to process colors. Spot colors are C M Y K. The four colors used by commercial printers with printing presses. I'll be using a desktop printer, so I want process colors, which are RGB, red, green, blue. Okay, that's it. Click OK. Okay, the interface for uh, Scribus is not particularly attractive and can be confusing. What I'll do first is split up the menu bars a little bit. I've got plenty of space on my widescreen. So let's split them up so that I can identify what is what. Okay, over on the left here we have file management, printing, save as PDF, etc. Here, this is our editing menu, cut, copy, paste, undo, redo. Here's our main bar, main menu bar. Text frames, picture frames, tables, shapes, lines, drawings, etc. And on the end here, something you probably won't use which is a specialist button for PDF functions such as inserting buttons um, and form fields into PDFs. Okay. Um, just going to show you a few of the very basic tools. Then we have text box. Okay. Insert a text frame and I can right click it and choose sample text because this is a page layout program it gives us sample text so we can just look at how things are. I can insert an image. Let's do an image here. And I'm going to right click and get image. This is always how we get images for our boxes. 
I'll just pick any old image for now. Okay, that's worked very well. Um, let's see. Where do we size that? Okay. And I'm going to open up my properties box, Windows properties, or just press F2. This is an extraordinarily useful box because it has for uh, altering shapes. So, for example, text flows around frame. If I click that, the text now flows around my frame. And by going into edit shape, I can alter every possible thing to do with that shape. Very confusing to look at initially, but actually very, very powerful. Just close that for now. I can introduce additional text boxes is often what we're doing when we're laying out pages and I could click on the first box choose to flow the text into the next frame with this button click on my second frame and suddenly our sample text is flowing from one to the next and I could do that with multiple boxes across a page and import text from somewhere else uh, and just have it flowing pop my images wherever I like and have the text flow around them an incredibly powerful program fantastic replacement for the very very basic Microsoft publisher but it does take a little while to learn. I think we'll leave this lesson there and we'll learn more about the actual functionality of the program in future lessons. Well, I hope that's been useful. Thank you for listening.